Yat Aish Alexis Allen Yunishe, Tapahanishne, Vilagana Buses Chin, Manish Eje Tachine Edishite, Vilagana Edishanali. Uh, hello, my name is Lexis Allen. I am Edgewater, born for Caucasian. My maternal grandfather is Zuni, red running into the water people, and this is how I identify myself as Navajo. My name is Lauren Slim, and I'm a member of the Navajo Nation, and I'm currently studying landscape architecture here at ASU. I grew up on the reservation up until I attended high school, but I attended high school at one of the border towns, so I was still pretty close to home. When I was younger, I didn't really grow up on the reservation, I didn't really know more about my heritage, but as I got older, I wanted to learn more about who I am, who can I identify myself as, what, like, I'm Native American, but what does this mean to me? It was an amazing event from the very beginning. Um, from the moment we stepped on the bus and uh, the trip all the way up to the game. And it was a sense of community. It was, it was just a good event all in all. I really enjoyed it, yeah. We had some, we laughed so much and I mean, I haven't been in an authentic space like that in so long just because you know, I feel like sometimes I put that on the back burner because of school and things like that. And it, I, and I feel like I need to integrate that back more into my day because just being around like friends and people I know um, just helped a lot. It was a trip that was about five to six hours on a bus. And basically people think, oh, it's a long bus drive. It's gonna be boring, but it was the total opposite of that. That's what I thought, oh, it's gonna be a long bus ride. I'll just put in my earbuds and listen to music, but it was just so fun. Seeing our team win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish there was Wi Fi on the bus. <laughs> Got home right. yeah. I'm excited to go to Fort Pines. I've never been to Fort Pines. I'm from Navajo Reservation, but it's so big, you know, like there's just parts I've never been to, so I'm just excited to come check it out. Yeah, I look forward to it. I mean, I've always followed the women's basketball teams back at home. Like, even at our high school, like, the women's basketball team was, like, really good, so. Native sports are very competitive. Basketball, football. The basketball is pretty intense. Yeah, where we our come basketball from. is our thing. You yeah. Know, like, we look, yeah. I thought it was football because I was like, oh, dang, it's going to be cold. And then I read it and I was like, oh, it's basketball in the way. Yeah. The trip all the way back up to Winter Rock was amazing. And I've never been through like the Houston area. And the, the scenic route was amazing. And we got back on the bus and we started heading up toward toward Defiance and Winter Rock area. And we were ahead of schedule. Oh my goodness. Bus stop at 101. We are gonna, we're switching a little bit because we had a request from several students to go to Window Rock. The Rock. Window Rock. We can do a nice group photo, and the reason why the discussion started was because we're really early. Um, so we decided to go to the Winter Rock, uh, which is like the actual uh, hole in the rock. And we took a big group picture, and just to see like the amazement of, uh, like, the, like the beauty of the land on people's faces was like, you know, I, I know that it exists up there, but just to like share that with others was a pretty awesome moment to see. <laughs> the fact that other people who weren't from the reservation wanted to see it, it was so like heartwarming knowing that they actually want to stop the bus and get off it and be able to take pictures and know more about it. Just, it just made me happy. Even though it was for not too long, but it was just nice knowing that they want to see it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, baby, one more. Get that one more turn. Um, so we're trying to go to the Finding Scouts Center, mm -hmm. and we're on a dirt road, and it's really... <laughs> we weren't leading the way, we were no. just following people. <laughs> just... We were following athletics. <laughs> make it, show, make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is why you have the natives lead the way. Yeah, they're taking <laughs> <laughs> I kind of got the chills like as we were pulling up because there was such a long line out the door and it stretched out into the parking lot and people were just like really excited to see this game. The fact that like they came out to support our school and the fact that we had representation of indigenous students at the game, um, just I, I loved it from beginning to end. <laughs> It was nice just being able to go there and say, this is my home. I'm glad that I'm able to take you guys here or have you guys experience this. This is where I grew up. It feels so amazing. <laughs> it does. Like, you can start to feel the energy in the crowd already. Yeah. I mean, that line got me out front. Like, it was so long and, like, just, like, how much support we have in the community with, like, events like this. Yeah. This sense of home. Yeah, definitely. Typically when you watch ESPN, oh, okay, it's about basketball, but having it be about your team, the college you go to, on the reservation that you're from, it's such an overwhelming feeling of joy is how I can describe it. Let's go, Devils! Let's go, Devils! Let's go, Just seeing so many natives there, it's like we're a community where this is one of the only times we you know, connect together over basketball, and that's why basketball is so important to us. Like, I can't think of a game that would top anything more than that. Having Native American History Month is kind of like recognition. It is recognition. We want to embrace who we are, and being able to have just a month just for us, it's like, I mean, it's really meaningful. We're humans too. <laughs> There's nothing different about us except the color of our skin. We're not just indigenous this one month. We are still here. We are still going to make a difference in this world. We want to be engineers, future educators. We are people, not just native. We are more than that. We are our ancestors. We are our heritage. It's just who we are. 